the entrance antiphon. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bride adorned with her jewels. Good morning. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, you were sent to hear the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. And glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, Grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain and by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten, then, from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman who you put here with me she gave me fruit from this tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of all the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, 
Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the One, who accomplishes all things according to the attention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ, the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among the women. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hey, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled, it was, was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, also has conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Concession of our Blessed Mother Mary, and the liturgy chose the text from the Gospel according to Luke in which uh, we actually see in Nashtel the great journey that Mary did. And I'm not referring to the journey that uh, she does uh, from Nazareth uh, to outside of Jerusalem to visit her cousin Elizabeth. I am referring to the journey that is uh, implied in uh, the text of the gospel that has just been proclaimed in which at the very beginning, we find a Mary that is at lost, rather than just greatly troubled. The Greek expression is much stronger and dramatic than what our English translation has. And then by the end, though, we have almost a transformed, renewed woman that is able to say, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May be done to me according to your word. That's the starting point and the ending point of Mary's journey. 
What is interesting for us is to see what is in between. In between, we see Mary the twice questioned the Archangel Gabriel. A great, uh, probably one of the greatest uh, Jewish philosopher, theologian, mystic, and biblical scholar, Abraham Joshua Heschel, one of his most powerful statements goes as follows. He says, our strength is not measured in the answer that we are able to find, but rather in the question that we are able to ask, which is very wise because usually very good questions always lead to very good answers. Silly question, petty question, usually lead to silly and petty answers. And married questions are very good. They go directly to the core of the situation. How can this be possible? How many times we too, in our life experience and faith journey, we have asked ourselves and maybe we have asked God the same kind of question. And maybe in moments similar to the one in which Mary actually was, that is, at loss. Moment of confusion, moment in which we may have felt losing our trajectory. But for sure, at least once, we ask the same question, how this can be possible? Now, the greatness of Mary is not really simply that she was able to say yes. This would be a very superficial reading and understanding of the gospel. But rather, Mary's greatness relays in the fact that she was able to say yes without seeing everything clearly. And that's where faith come into place. And so looking at Mary as it comes out from this episode of the Gospel of Luke, we may actually want to ask through our prayers to have the grace to have a little bit of the same kind of faith that Mary shows. A faith that, number one, is able to ask very good questions. And a faith that is able to say yes, even if and despite the fact that we may not have all the answers to our question and that we may not see clearly what is ahead of us but a faith that is able to move us forward, not because uh, we are sure of the outcomes, but rather because uh, we put our trust and confidence in the one to whom nothing is impossible. And let us now ask and present our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For bishops, priests, and religious, may God strengthen them in faith and bless their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may God strengthen them in serving with integrity and protecting all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families who lack adequate shelter, may the Lord in his great mercy grant them all their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, 
May the Holy Spirit help us grow in holiness during this holy season of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may Jesus welcome them to win his heavenly kingdom to rejoice forever with our blessed mother and all the saints and angels. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today's special mass intentions are for George and Ann Patello, Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Arujo, and children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, also through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, welcome our prayers that we present to you in the name of your Son and our Lord, Jesus the Christ. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vines, and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. And pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any sin, by any stain of sin. So through her intercession, we may be delivered from all our faults through the Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the Church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe, weep away our offenses. You place her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. And may holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior command, and found by his divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance through your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you all. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, And behold the Lamb of God, and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The communion antiphon. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Mary, for from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of the fault from which, in a singular way, you preserve a blessed Mary in her immaculate conception, through the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God bless you, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go and remain in the peace of the Lord. And have a nice day. We will say the luminous mysteries this morning. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he arose. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Three Hail Marys for the increase of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus, and the fruit of the mystery is openness to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, <clears throat> the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. The fruit of the mystery is to Jesus through Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery is proclaiming the kingdom. The fruit of the mystery is repentance and trust in God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration, and the fruit of the mystery is desire for holiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist, and the fruit of the mystery is adoration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the Pope's intentions and for the indulgence today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, St. Joseph, in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. <clears throat> 